Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Phoebe. Today is the first day of an ultra busy few days. <laughs> first off, that was just me trying on some, oh my gosh, spicy, delicious clothes. This my friend designed, uh, money going to pancare, raising money for pancreatic cancer. So proud of you and I love it. It's so comfy and it's just what I need. A very cozy, cold weather loungewear or streetwear um, layer. Also the color is popping. And then these jeans are the 501 Levi's and I've been like chasing the sale for a while now but I don't know if any of you um, can relate to this but the sizing is so off for these guys like it's not accurate. It's taken a few returns and whatever but we're here and they're so bloody flattering. <laughs> is there a jean that makes thy bum look as good as these do? Today I've been making lots of food, three different types of tiramisu, an Earl Grey, a Choc Orange and a Classic as well as many jars of vegan butter for... Um, the open mess event and I mentioned before but it's an event in Fitzroy on Sunday where artists and bakers are selling their goods to raise money for rare cancer research and it's going to be fab. I was very nervous um, because I was a bit worried about making my units of goods look groovy enough because I didn't order stickers in advance enough so I was just double start double-sided tape sticking on um, some printed labels but I think they look fine and I sprayed some sparkly glitter all-purpose spray on them <laughs> yeah so that's Sunday and then tomorrow I'm working at a polling booth on election day issuing votes counting them yada yada ah <sighs> I know it'll be fine <laughs> I just it's a very long day um, and I am a bit concerned about how my endurance will hold up. Anyway, I'm going to go to this outlet store and I think treat myself and buy a new pair of sneakers because I've been meaning to do that for a while and I think I would really appreciate a comfy pair of uh, shoes that haven't got holes in the bottom because your gal with jeans and shoes has just bought secondhand for so long and I'm a bit tired of the quality going from questionable to worse so yes my uncle is also staying which is quite nice i don't know how much i will film on these next three days <laughs> um i woke up being like nah i can't film a vlog it's just another layer of stress just focus on making the food but it's classic me once i just get into the flow then everything starts to feel ultra groovy i just loved making that food like production line can feel it in my future <laughs> uh yeah hope you're doing really well when you're watching this and i hope that we're feeling a weight off our shoulders election wise when we're watching this. <laughs> bed try and have a nice good restful sleep before tomorrow i blade out my clothes and i have my cute fresh outfit with my new sneakers and um my new jeans as silly and stupid as it is i think will help me feel a bit adult like put together capable a bit of a uniform when it's fresh and doesn't feel like clothes which you've spent a lot of the pandemic sheltering in place in you know i blade out my food i think i'm good and yeah, hopefully I will not be dead by Sunday and I'll see you then.
how's it going? It's a lot later now. I'm about to go to bed for an early night. I've showered. And between the shower and like having as many meals, even though I feel a bit like malaise and a bit sick, I don't think I am. I'm just exhaustion. Like it takes as many proper meals as you've sort of missed through being busy to like feel a bit more normal again. It's my silly little theory anyway. Yeah, I worked 17 hours on election day. Um, the first like six went super fast. I loved marking people off on the roll, running them through how to vote. That was like so fast paced. I like was looking down five hours and didn't, and then when I looked up, it was like 1.30. <laughs> then counting the votes was super interesting, um, primarily because I've never been in like a swing seat before, and we were, so that was exciting to be behind the scenes during that. Um, but it was a super late finish, and there was a lot of standing around between the super busy periods. Super interesting, and dealing with the public in like a way that everyone has to do is a real equaliser, and it was actually like probably one of the best things to do maybe not the best but a great thing to do on election day because you're not thinking about politics at all you're sort of just thinking like everyone's the same and like wow most people are so polite you're polite to them so it just makes you feel like warmly towards people as opposed to just hate people and feel worried um and stressed and anxious on the day which otherwise i would be if i was at home watching the coverage because you're sort of like removed from being a citizen for the day you're like an officiator yeah and then today the open mess event was so beautiful everyone was so lovely um i think it went really well i did have to sort of leave a bit before the end because I, I didn't last the whole time I needed to come home and just plonk like the exhaustion wall had hit it was so beautiful the food looked like a real but like modern 21st century still life like renaissance painting fairy land sculptural that up and the artwork was all food themed and it was so cool although there wasn't much food I could have so hence the falafel on the way home um, but it was very, very cool, on like a slightly selfish note, to see people taking my food. It was very cool. Like the most exhausting few days, but such good experiences. Oh, anyone else drink orange juice and then can like feel it, the sourness like attacking your esophagus or something? I'm sure that's not how it works. I've had a slower day, still feeling totally knackered. I just got a message from a missed call saying if I want to count votes tomorrow, I can. They're so in need of people because of COVID and I think I need to make the call for me and not do that. But I've had a day of planning of errands and it was very resetting although it always feels a bit funky doing it on a monday like you're not allowed to or something but i was thinking today like it did sort of surprise me how much i enjoy the customer service side of things like as a rule people are really nice like it kind of like i know voting's quite like a formal thing and you're getting people in this sort of new experience that they only do every three two years but everyone was really nice and serving customers and being polite to people you generally get politeness back yeah it was slightly surprising even the like monotonous tasks you can get good at them and have your sort of own way of doing things anyway thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this chaotic video and i'll see you super soon in the next one bye <laughs>